All right, what's up, everyone? Welcome back to another episode of Sufi Reacts. This is going to be 21 Pilots Trapdoor. We have almost made it through this whole album. Like the whole thing, top to bottom, almost. I know there's Johnny Boy, and I think maybe one other song. I can't think of the name, but we're close. We're almost there. So this is going to be Trapdoor. I know you guys have asked for this one for a long time. So let's get right into it. Before it starts, I did go scroll through the comments real quick to see since this is a lyrical video and I've had issues with the um, lyrics being messed up with like 21 Pilots and NF and other artists, I scrolled through real quick to see if there were any lyrics that were messed up in this one. And it I saw someone mention bleeding and blatant. So um, it whichever one he put in here, it's supposed to be the other one. So I'll look out for that. But I figured that way we can, um, if it affects the interpretation of the song, I know ahead of time. This is a cool picture. That's, that's interesting. The whole, every bit of the song up until that last verse there was in first person or third person. I, I can never keep the person straight, but it's like from an outside looking in. But then that last verse said it was in, I think that's first person, what the last verse was. It said, take me out. So it went from like Tyler being a narrator to then the actual person talking. Um, but so far, it's all very straightforward of the, you know, this guy wakes up and he, he basically fools everybody or uh, just tricks everybody into thinking he's happy, you know, fake smile, um, doing great, like, hey, how are you doing great? You know, life's good, all this stuff. But on the inside is a very different story. But he puts on a face so no one and he hides his real name or something like that. So no one actually knows him. But and then he goes home. And he's petrified at nighttime and he doesn't have to have that face anymore. And he's a completely different person. Yeah, because he feels like his life is worthless. Everyone gather around for our show. Watch as this man disappears as we know. Yeah. Do me a favor and try to ignore watch as this man disappears as we know so it's as if we're we see him going home at night metaphorically taking off his mask and being himself watch as this man disappears as we know the man that we just saw walking around all day being at work interacting with his co-workers all this stuff the man that we know is disappearing and he's becoming or he going resorting back to his his real self. That's kind of, it's freaky to think about it that way of like, what if we could peer into somebody's life when they get home? Are they the same person? Or are they putting on a facade and faking it throughout their whole day? And then when they get home is when they release, you know, or let out what they're really feeling or what they're really thinking or how they really feel, all this stuff. Watch as this man disappears as we know. 
show Watch as this man disappears as we know mm. Do me a favor and try to ignore As you watch him fall through a blatant trap door Okay, so that was the word it's supposed to be a blatant trap door Okay, so that could either be taken as he's he's actually died and committed suicide. And now he's just watching the back of his eyes. I don't think that's actually the case because I don't think Tyler would say he's watching the backs of his eyes because if you're dead, you're not going to be watching anything. So, so this is likely meaning that he's sleeping now and he said he used to dream, but now he's just watching the backs of his eyes. And, you know, and maybe he can't. So maybe that means he can't sleep. Because he's like, he's laying there, he's trying to go to sleep, but he's just watching the backs of his eyes. He's not dreaming, and he's just laying there petrified. So that's that's what I'm going to go with. But there was another line there that was very interesting. Nothing kills a man faster than his own head. It's like the saying, like, you're, you are your own worst enemy. You are your own biggest hindrance, is what your mind, your own insecurities what you tell yourself, how negative you can be to yourself, self-deprecating, all this stuff, nothing kills a man faster than his own head. Because even when it comes to like life and death, like if somebody's fighting an illness, if they have a will to live, they can beat the illness. But when someone loses that will to live, it's much more likely for that illness to kill them. And so your mind, your own mind can keep you alive much longer than you think. Nothing kills a man faster than his own head. Is the sad part. That's so sad. Everyone gather around for show. Watch as this man disappears as we and know. That part, that part really Do hits me. Do me a favor and try to ignore as you watch him fall through a bleeding trap It does sound like bleeding though, not blatant. So I don't know who's right. All the sounds he uses. That sounded like blatant. Cause nobody knows he's alive. Because nobody knows that he's alive. He feels like no one notices him. No one would miss him if he was gone. No one knows he's alive. No one knows he's even there. So who would care if he goes missing? 
who would care if he's not there anymore? No one even knows. He goes all his day to day. No one sees him. No one knows he's there. Dang. The one part of the song that I didn't really get or like have a thought as to what he meant was do me a favor and try to ignore that whole that line. I don't really get that Um, because that I'm probably just missing something. It it just seems out of place for him to say, do me a favor and try to ignore. I don't know what he'd be ignoring because I know Tyler wouldn't be saying like ignore what's going on when he goes home. So you guys have to explain that line to me because I don't really get that that part of it. But the rest of it was fairly obvious. And those two lines really, I thought were, they just hit, they hit hard. And uh, I can't, I can't remember what he said now. Um, a watch as this man disappears as we know. And then um, the part where he said, um, take me out, finish this waste of a life, something like that. Ooh, those were rough. That's rough. And then a, as he falls through a blatant trap door. Mm. Mm, 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 mm. Tyler. Wait, is this song about Tyler? Do you think Tyler wrote this song? Like about himself? I mean, obviously this could fit for a lot of people, but I, I know Tyler has had, he's been through all of those thoughts. So I wonder if this was like a a time in his life when he felt this way and he's writing this song with himself in mind. That would be interesting. That'd be very interesting. But that's it for this video. Another great song. A freaking fantastic album. I love it. But that's it for this one. So... Thank you very much for watching. Let me know what you guys thought of the song in the comments, all of your interpretations, and I'll see you in the next video. Take care.